look exactly the same. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Uh, this is part two from the last video where I was color testing on a 12 inch round. And by numerous requests, I'm about to use these same colors. The colors weren't a request, just the technique. Well, um, I was asked to do some large blooms on a bigger canvas and instead of deconstructing them to go ahead and just spin them out and leave them be. So this one time I will oblige and- Hey guys. So as you can tell, this looks great. A lot has happened in the next, in the last uh, hour. My 12 inch round got ruined, have to redo it. And I have two attempts where I tried to spin this out outside. Both were fails because the blooms literally flew off <laughs> the canvas and it was super noisy and you couldn't hear above the cicadas. So I thought part two, we'll make this a three-parter. We'll do part two and have it be a deconstructed bloom. It's supposed to rain for like the next five days. Hopefully not that long because I need to do that in my, I need to spin in my, in my doggy pool outdoors. Um, so hopefully we'll get a break in the weather and I can get up part three where we just split, I can't talk, spin out three blooms. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and deconstruct one, shall we? So put it down. Oh, I hope I don't run out of paint. I have plenty of pouring medium and and whatnot, so I can make up more colors as we go. So that's good. Let's go with the violet oxide. Colors, brands, pouring medium recipe discount codes, all that's in the description section. And so I have a half clean paint, half scrape from my tart paint. And let's see, let's go. Let's be different this time. Hold on, let me stir up my uh, teal here. Made up some more teal. Bear with me. Just giving this a good stir, making sure it's all, yeah, that's looking good. Do a little more teal. And I think I'm gonna put, let's put the, um, a little bit of the uh, pink gold on top this time. Why not? All right. So activator. See some bubbles. I gotta pop those bubbles. And this one. Good grief, a bunch of them. All right, I'm gonna blow the rest of them out. So here goes. Cool air, low fan. cells again. We'll leave that be.
There's a terrible job with the hair dryer if I have to puff that much. A lot of black showing. We'll see how much that puddles together. Try to do a better job on the next one. Oh, wrong color. Oh, I need to make up some more of this too. So that's really quick and easy. Um, got my because it's golden fluid, so it's super quick and easy. Just about a third of a cup of this three ounce cup, and a dollop of my violet oxide like that. Give it a quick mix. Super fast, super easy. Back in business. A little more of that. I need to do the same with my pink. And I'm going to cheat, just so you know. Because um, normally I like to uh, pre-wet my pigments with some varnish. But since the bottom of this cup is wet with the pouring medium, I'm just wetting it first in this cup like this. And then, and wear a mask when you do this, please. This is like, do as I say, not as I do, moment. And then add my pouring medium. And give this a quick mix. And since it was already wet, It'll mix up nice and e quick and easy. And we can put down our pink. And then let's put our copper on top. We'll go back to this. I like the pink on top. I'm gonna to do that again. I'm gonna add like a dollop of the blue. I'm gonna do pink again. Yep, I like that. All right. So activator, let's do a better job with the hair dryer. Oh, that did collect really nicely right there. I kind of feel like my hair dryer's dying. I hope not. I'm going to go on high for a second. Nope. Maybe it was okay. I don't like this. Like so, I so strongly don't like it. I'm gonna remove it all right away. As best I can. That's a little better. Maybe I'll blow over it. All right, last one. I'm going to put it close to this other bloom. Gosh, I love copper. Look how this has the blue um, cells. This one got the pink. I had the pink on top, I thought. I thought I did that.
I'll make sure this time. Yeah, double dose of pink. I don't know. I feel like I need a double dose of... <laughs> I decided to do a double dose of copper. So that's like basically two layers of each color, right? On that one. All right, here we go. Last time. Trying to get this to get it to sew up right there. There's like a big, like little mountain of paint there, and this is like at sea level, <laughs> I guess is what you would call it. stick my finger in it right here where it's all black or the purple sew activator and I think it's gonna roll off up there I think I have enough paint everywhere so let's just give this a second to collect here let's look at the wiggle lines in between and they're not bad this time except for this this little blob Right here. It's close enough to an edge though that it might come off. And let me stick my finger right here. And yeah, let's wreck it. That goes nothing. I'm going to take it off the side first because I don't want the white cells. So I'm just going to go for it right there. Yeah. I can have a little bit of white, but. And then I'm going to beeline. This is where I really want to spin. Because if I, if I could spin, I could spin this right off. So, let me just ignore it for a second. <laughs> and I need paint. Hold on. I'm going to have to, like, do some scoopage. Because I need paint right here. And I'm going to move my canvas out of the way for a second and put it hmm where am I gonna put it I'll stick it over here for a second where's the other cookie cutter where'd you go cookie cutter oh you're stuck all right let's put it right there for a second and scoop up some paint wow I just hid my thing Oh, I'm blind. I was looking for my um, paint scraper. I'm just gonna pour some old stuff right there. 
and I have a little bit of paint left. We'll put right in here just to help this stuff fly off. I'm doing a pretty good job of uh, scooping paint while holding the canvas. I'm kind of impressed with myself at the moment. Let's put this out of the way so we don't trip on the canvas. Bring it back and now let's try to tilt. And so go ahead and take that stuff right off. Yep. Oh, this part does not want to move right here. You. Yeah, you. Yep. And off we go. There we go. We'll bring it back. Just going to bring it back to the middle a second. Get the weight of the paint in the middle so we can bring all those cells down, stretch them out the other way. And we'll go off. It's all going to get wonky for a second. Go ahead. Let's leave a little white corner. Yep. Just because there's some white cells there that match. And since the paint's at the bottom, hi kitty. I'm just gonna slide over to this other side now. Hopefully I don't need more paint. And if you can't see, just give me one sec. I'm just sliding to this one corner. And I'm almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. And I'm like, I'm trying to, well, let me explain myself. So what I'm trying to do is tilt the paint off the canvas, but get some movement going. You know, I don't want the straight lines. Um, I don't mind them sometimes. Sometimes the composition calls for it. Like in my um, blue piece I did a uh, video before last, I felt like that was my only option. So I kind of rolled with it. But this one has enough cells and things on it that I want to have them flowing around and not just going straight across. And so far so good. I'm really liking the movement of this piece. I'm just gonna take it, I love the top. Shh, let me wipe off my hands. Um, yeah, better. Is that, what is that right there? What are you? Are you a white cell? White, what are you? A bubble? No, you're just white paint. Okay, you can stay then. Sorry to disturb. Um, yeah, I'm liking the movement very, very much. I feel like it's a little heavy on this side and things need to go this way, one of my favorite things about this one, for whatever reason, is that the cell activator uh, is showing up in the most pleasant of ways where you have this purple. Maybe I should have made up um, that cut that, I um, can never remember the name of this color for whatever reason. The blue violet right in here. That's not black, that's all blue violet in here. Um, that's a nice addition to this, I feel. All right, a little bit more your way. And this might be done. She says optimistically. Yep, so let me take it. A bit this way. Just a little. Just even out the composition a little bit. The paint's slowing down a lot, so that's good. Just so we're kind of balanced. And then let me stare at this. 
Good grief, I love it. God, I love these. Have I mentioned how much I love deconstructed blooms? Like, a lot. <laughs> God's probably sick and we're like, yeah, we know, it's all you post. <laughs> I'm just touching up sides, goofing around. Um, I think I call it, I don't see anything else. I'm like looking at sides, like anything to touch up. I've got coverage on my sides, like really pretty. The way the cells ran off, I'm just running my finger underneath the uh, canvas so the paint doesn't get pulled down anymore where I don't want it to be. And uh, Daniel, I think I call it and say, ta-da. Um, the 12 inch round from the last video, I'm gonna have to redo it. I'll show you why in a second. And then, um, but I'm gonna leave the video live because I'm gonna do it in the same colors. And it's around, it won't look too different, she tells herself. And uh, I'm going to leave the video live, though. So, yep. Ta-da! Let me get you down. Okay, guys. So, here's the little boo-boo my husband did right before dinner. So, this is from the first video. Uh, for you guys a few days ago for me just like a couple hours ago. So I'm gonna have to redo it I'm not gonna film it. I know the order. It should look quite similar when I'm done But um, I'll definitely show you the dried results, but this one's a garner. There's no way for me to fix That and the paint is dry on the edges because I initially thought well I'll just spin it out more and take those two little areas off but I can't because this is dry, so I'm gonna to have to scrape it. Very, very sad because it was a lovely piece. I do wanna show you something though as a comparison and how much of a difference it makes when you use whatever your last color is underneath of your cell activator. Um, that's the one that's gonna show up in the middle of your cells. Now obviously, you'll see some pink in some areas, but in this particular piece, I did not have pink as my last color. Whereas over here, on our big deconstructed bloom, there are areas, I think I sw um, switched it up three times. So over here, you'll see the, the um, violet oxide with the copper in the middle of the cells. Here in the middle, it's definitely copper land. And then over here, it's more pinky land. And the pink on the top um, is more prevalent. Let me come up high on this guy. I'm really, really happy with this one. I love having, this one has a ton of cells and lacing. And for me, the movement of this one is killer. So I see this as the top of the painting, like swooping down. Um, tons and tons and tons of cells and lacing on this guy. And it swoops down. I like my quiet areas. They're nice. Nothing too obnoxious looking. And then this is the whole middle section here. Just tons of cells. Good grief. And then this is the bottom here. And I think the other thing I really like about this one is it has great movement and it's very balanced in terms of color. Um, where the gold is where the blue is, where the um, purpley gray from the cell activator and the white, the bits of white, there's not too much of any one thing. So I'm super happy. So yeah, let me uh, say goodbye a second. I'm a mess. I've been painting all day pretty much. <laughs> um, so that's number two. And so it was supposed to be one video with two pores and then I made it a two-parter. So now I think I'm just, where's my dot? I'm just going to make it a three-parter with, you know, the same colors of blooms, the three different bloom looks. Because the uh, the third one, when I spin out blooms, that's really not a different technique that's just spinning them out. So we have our traditional bloom on the 12-inch round. We have our deconstructed bloom we just did. And then the next video, the third part, we will try to spin out three blooms on a large canvas 
Um, and by the time you see the second video, hopefully the weather will have cleared up so I can do that outside. Phew, that's it for me. Enough yammering. Uh, you guys take care. Peace and love to you all. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please check out my Facebook page, Waterfall Acrylics. I'm trying to get to 10K followers there. Please check out me and Jen Neal's Facebook group, Fluid Art Addicts. Please give me a thumbs up. And hit that uh, thumbs down button twice if you don't like the video. <laughs> I can't believe nobody's commented on that yet. <laughs> you guys take care. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Peace out.